Welcome to a US Master Info Software video. In this video we want to show you the new changes in the surface and auto generation in the US Master version 6.1. The main reason for this change was driven due to very large point clouds. So we assume that you already finished the georeferencing part of US Master successfully and all your images in the project have correct exterior orientations. Let's start the surface and auto generation. At the beginning we will see a new window coming up which is the point cloud managing and project processing window I will call from now on PCM. The PCM window handles from now on in US master our point cloud data. So the very first time it is mandatory to run for our complete project either a DTM or DSM point cloud generation. This function is now part of the PCM window and not anymore in the US tab as formerly in the version 6.0 of US master. So let's run for our project a DTM extraction detailed. I will start the process and after it's finished we will take a look at the result. The point cloud data will be replaced so it's asking us if we want to delete if we have a former data set and override it with the new one. I say yes and continue the process. The process is finished. After running our DTM extraction, the data is stored in an internal database, which can handle any size of point cloud data. In the point cloud query, we can see an overview from the data. If we want to display the overview with different options, we can go to the options preferences of the US edit and in the views 3D points we can change the colorization to color or elevation and if we apply it then we can see here a colorization of our overview. If we use the DSM extraction then we use um, a pixel based matching and therefore also each point can have a color information and then we could switch back to color again and then we would see here a colorized point cloud. But the DTM extraction uses a feature based matching and therefore we don't have for each single point color information so I will go with the elevation colorization. The PCM window does not allow us to do editing. The editing is done in the editor. If we take a look at the editor then we don't see any data at this moment. Also all measurement tools are grayed out so currently we cannot do any editing at this moment. The reason is that we first need to load from our PCM window data into the editor. If you closed the PCM window you can always get back with file point cloud managing or the symbol here which this database icon represents. To load data we can drag in the point cloud query tab an area of data and this area then we can load with start point editing into our editor. The PCM window will close automatically and we will zoom automatically to the maximum extent of the data in our editor. If we use the wheel mouse to zoom in and out then we can see now here the data loaded and the remaining part gray shaded which still represents the remaining project area. In this video we will not show the video or the editing tools but for former US master users just that you know nothing has changed in the editing of the data. You can still select, edit, make interpolations, filter the data measure 3D break lines in stereo windows. So all the functions are identical and they work in the same way as before. 
A major change was done for saving and storing the data. We need to save our data now to our database. We can do this step in the complete point cloud editing function, which you can find in the US tab here, where we have two options. Save and update point cloud will save all our changes or editing portions we did to the database. This card will not save any of our changes. As long as we did not write back or discard our changes, we can use the undo and redo buttons as much as we want to do our corrections. Let's make a short example. I activate the control lines. I use the point selection tool rectangle. I will just select here an area and delete it. Take a second part and delete it. If I use the undo button, I can go back to the previous steps. I can redo and go back to the other steps. I can select points and use here the shift button. I will move the points two meter up so we can see that they have an influence here. If we look at the shaded leaf, then we should now see here this bump. And of course, we still have these two gaps. So I will now save and update the point cloud. As soon as I save and update the point cloud, my PCM window appears again. And I see my two gaps already here in my overview. If I go to my editor, we see that the data is not anymore in the editor because we save the data to our point cloud database. We would need to check out again a portion where we can reselect a different area and load it into the editor. The editor zooms again with a max fit to our loaded data and we see here our changes are now part of our loaded data. Of course, if your data set is not too large, you can also select here the whole data part and load everything into the editor and work as previously was done in US Master. The PCM window wants to help you to handle large data sets where you can just use portions of the data set to edit. It allows us a fast viewing of the data with the point cloud viewer, where we can here use different perspective views for the complete data set of any size. The point cloud query offers us to load only parts of the data and the editor as already formally used offers us all the editing functions that we need to make the corrections. After we did all the changes and editings and have a proper and clear and good DTM, we can start in the PCM window also our auto mosaic generation. But this is not part of this video, so I want to thank you very much and hope you enjoy US Master 6.1. Goodbye!